Hello everyone, Hyper here, and this video will be the first of a new limited series that I'm uploading here to YouTube, um, in which I will take you through the process that I go through when setting up a new character for mythic progression or mythic raiding in general. Um, I leveled a paladin from fresh over the past few days. You can see my gear, I just hit level 60 today. Um, and I've never played paladin in raiding before, so I pretty much have to learn everything from scratch. And I know a lot of you are either considering switching characters, but probably don't want to because let's be honest, learning a new character and trying to get good enough at it quickly to take it into mythic rating or high PVP, whatever you want to do, high mythic plus, it can be a daunting process. So this video will be the process that I go through to learn everything about the new class that I need to know so that I'm okay, whether I'm, I'll be doing mythic plus PVP or mythic rating. The first episode will be fairly basic, so if you are trying to improve a character that you're already playing, probably won't learn too much, but if you're picking up a new main or you know just adding another alt to your collection that you want to play, then this is how you get started. So first of all, if you're leveling a character from fresh, it is a great way of just learning the basics of the spec or the class. Just because you get introduced to abilities fairly slowly, the new leveling process actually does a pretty good job of like drip feeding you abilities so that you're not overwhelmed. Um, however, if you know you have a character sitting around from like three or four expansions ago, or you just boosted one, then it can feel a little overwhelming just because they dump all the abilities uh, on your action bars and they're like, all right, figure it out. So this is where very basic guides come into play. So YouTube guides where they go through rotation um, or just basic abilities, class guides in um, like Wowhead, Icy Veins and so on can be very helpful. Don't go in depth, don't try to learn everything about the class at the same time. First thing you want to learn is just the basics, the basic mechanics that your class has. So as a Red Paladin, I know and I figured out through leveling that it has a fairly standard builder spender toolkit where I have three builder abilities and two spender abilities, one for single target and one for AOE. So once you're leveling and you're actually playing the character, um, over time you'll be able to figure that out. Or if you boosted one, you'll still need to level for a little bit. Um, and that's a great time to just kind of get comfortable with how things work, what the resources are on the character, and what the goal of the character or the spec is. Um, some specs are builder spenders, others are just you know maintain dots, um, but generally they tend to follow a very similar pattern. So once you have the basics figured out, your base core rotation, then you can take a look at things like cooldowns. Um, by default, Red Paladin, I believe only has one cooldown, um, well two, Avenging Wrath and Wake of Ashes. So both are fairly self-explanatory um, and you get them while leveling. So just get comfortable with using those. And after that, you can jump into getting to understand the talents. And again, if you're leveling from fresh, this is something that's being drip fed to you throughout the leveling process where you, know, you unlock a row of talents every so often. So you kind of have time to read everything, digest what they actually do. Um, and hopefully being able to connect how that relates to your toolkit um, in some way. So again, just to summarize this portion, YouTube guides, Wowhead guides, Icy Veins, anything that's basic to get you started and get you familiar with the class is great. Um, once you're just logging on a character and you're like, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, so that's very helpful, if, especially if you boost a character. Um, on the other hand, if you're leveling from fresh, you should be able to figure out everything pretty much on your own uh, since abilities are getting introduced pretty slowly. So that's all you, I suggest that you do during the leveling process. Don't worry about stats during leveling. Don't worry about anything else. Um, now, at some point, you will have to start making decisions once you get to Shadowlands, such as what covenant to play. Um, for that information, you can either go to a guide or to logs. I prefer actually going straight to Warcraft logs because that tends to be a little bit better um, indicator for what's good for raiding. 
and you can just see what covenant everyone's playing on there and just pick that one or if you're if you know that you're gonna do mythic plus and pvp then perhaps you can read a guide uh, to see if there's like some compromise with covenants or if there's just a hands down the best one for everything you play so that's as far as decisions go now once your character got to level 60 that's where really the process begins and the work begins so for me this means Firstly, figuring out and laying out a plan of, okay, what I need to get done um, and what I should be looking at getting on this character. So I need to figure out what legendary I will be playing, what soul bind, um, as well as what talent build. So during leveling, you will most likely use a different talent build than you will once you reach max level. So for all that information that I just said, I recommend going to Warcraft logs. You can get all this information off of a guide as well, but not all guides get updated the same way. Um, so some information might be out of date. On Warcraft logs, you will pretty much always find the most up-to-date meta build that you can do with your spec. So here is where you will kind of see what talents see use, uh, what legendaries, what soul binds, and what covenant. So first of all, just looking down the Paladin list, everyone's playing Kyrian, so I know that I should be Kyrian. If we go down the list of legendaries, there seems to be three possible legendaries that I will need. Uh, first of all is the Final Verdict, second one is Tempest of the Lightbringer, this is for AoE, and the third one seems to be this uh, Magistrate's Judgment, which I'm still not entirely sure how it comes into play, but there are a few bosses where it seems to get quite a bit of play. Uh, but the main ones are the Final Verdict and the Tempest of the Lightbringer. So Final Verdict single target, Tempest for AoE. So I know that those are the two legendaries that I should be crafting first on my character. Um, next we can look at the talent builds. So there seems to be a pretty standard talent build that most people use. Um, on single target, everyone takes Execution Sentence, Empyrean Domain, um, I mean Blade of Wrath, then Utility, Utility, Seraphim, Utility, and Final Reckoning. So this is the single target build. On AoE or on Cleave, you switch it up a little bit. Um, in the second row, it seems like people play different talents. And then on pure AoE, people play different talents in the first row and in the second row. Uh, but everything else stays the same. So now I can start looking at, okay, what do those talents do and why are people playing this? If I go back to my character, in the first row people are playing Zeal on AoE, which means that for Mythic Plus I'll probably want to be playing it, Execution Sentence on single target. In the second row people are playing Empyrean, Empyrean Power on AoE, uh, which makes sense because my single target builder has a chance to proc my AoE spender. Uh, which is really good for AoE situations. And then for single target, you take Blade of Wrath, which again, makes sense because it procs your single target builder more often. And then everything else stays the same um, in all situations. So you kind of want to look through those and make sure that you know what those talents actually do. Um, and at this point, you shouldn't worry about pretty much the rest of the talents because you're not going to be theory crafting new builds. At this point, you're just following in a pre-carved path um, or a pre-carved meta that's been set by other players. So at this point, I know what Covenant I should be, what Soul Binds I should be playing based on what I'm seeing on logs, uh, what talents I should be playing, as well as what legendaries I should be looking at crafting. Um, then from here, we can look at more in-depth uh, information such as what trinkets I should target. Um, for some specs, you need to get a PvP trinket, so that's good to, to get a head start on. As you can see, Red Paladins here tend to use a lot of PvP trinkets. Um, pretty much in all situations, they're using a PvP on use and then a passive either Mythic Plus trinket, PvP trinket, or Raid trinket. So I know that I will need to get a badge from PvP. So the last thing I will check is what stats I should be interested in getting because that makes a huge difference in your overall DPS. So for this, I always go to at least two sources just to make sure that I'm getting good information. So the first thing I'm going to check here is a guide. 
Um, and just to let you guys know, I have not read a single Paladin guide, not watched a Paladin guide video or anything like that. I leveled the class just playing it how I thought it should be played. Um, and this is where I started the process of like learning everything. So the Wowhead guide is saying that I should be looking at strength, which means eye level is the most important thing. After that, haste, then crit, uh, which is equal to versatility or mastery. So haste is my most important secondary strat, then kit, crit, verse, and mastery are all about equal. So, okay, that's pretty easy to deal with. Now I will go over to Warcraft logs and check some of the highest uh, damaging parses and make sure that they are running similar stats to what we are seeing on here. The first one I'm checking here is Shriekwing Mythic, um, the rank one parse. And immediately I am noticing something different. This player is playing very low haste, high mastery, high versatility, um, and like medium crit. So this does not corroborate the information I just got from the Wowhead guide. Then I go over to the Hungering Destroyer uh, highest parse, and this is haste and mastery seem to be the highest, then versatility is like the middle stat, and their crit is the lowest. So again, it's something different. So I'm going to go ahead and look at a third boss. The next one I'm checking is Huntsman because it's two target cleave, so some things might change. And again, I'm seeing high haste, high mastery, medium versatility, and low crit. Okay, so at this point, I if you're struggling with this, then go to the last boss. The last boss typically tends to give you the best and most reliable information. So the highest parse that was using mostly a boss build, not AoE build, um, is running high haste, high mastery, medium versatility, and low crit. So this is different than what I'm seeing in the written Wowhead guide. So for now, I am just going to aim at going high haste and mastery, medium versatility, and low crit, if at all possible. Um, but this is some information that I may have to verify down the line when I'm trying to start to min-max the character. And that pretty much wraps up the first episode where I pretty much try to gather all the basic information I need about a new class that I'm playing and take it into dungeons, um, any solo content. It doesn't matter if you're playing the rotation perfectly or anything like that. It's just important to start getting comfortable on the character. In the next episode, I will cover how you should start setting up keybinds and weak auras. Um, as you can see right now, I have very bare bones weak aura set up for this character. Um, I need to improve it a lot. Keybinds as well, it's likely that you set up a keybinds a specific way while you are leveling that you might want to change once you reach max level. And also start looking at some more detailed rotational information. Um, if you want to start taking your character into relevant content such as Mythic Plus um, or even Heroic and Early Mythic Raiding. Again, thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to answer it for you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.